Hi guys, thanks for tuning into the Scan Tool Network. This is a short demonstration of the iCarsoft CR Max OBD2 diagnostic tool. We're in a 2017 Ford Focus, and as you can see, we've got a range of warning lights and faults on this particular dashboard here. So we're going to use the CR Max to diagnose and hopefully reset these uh, where possible. So uh, if you are interested in this CR Max tool, then I'd recommend using the links in the description below this video because there are fakes, there are clones out there on the market and they can damage your vehicle. The links you use in the description uh, will guarantee you to be taken to genuine and official tools, okay? So we've got this tool plugged into the OBD2 port, which is down there somewhere. And it's a touch screen system, so we're just going to click into diagnostics and we're going to go and find our manufacturer which is a Ford so there's a few different ways you can connect to your vehicle you can either ask the tool to do a uh, an automatic scan or an automatic identify so it'll find your vehicle or you can select your vehicle manually and so the quickest way is just to go automatic identify it's found the vehicle click OK to that and then if you know which system you wish to diagnose, click into control unit um, or if you want to do a service item, which I'll show you in a moment, or a quick test or an automatic scan of the whole vehicle, then select one of those. We're going to click control unit because we know which systems we want to diagnose. So we're going to click into powertrain control module, that is the engine system that is relating to the check engine light. So we're going to click into that, click onto read fault code. And then this is the fault code that is relating to that check engine light, okay? So if you get this particular fault code and you're not exactly sure what it means, um, I'd always recommend popping the information into a Google search engine because if you're getting the fault, somebody else will have had the fault as well at some point and the answer will be there as to what you need to do need or what you need to replace. In this case, it was a, um, a, a, an ignition coil. So what we can do is, once that's been replaced, you go into clear fault memory, just keep an eye on the check engine light when I do this. There we go. Erase operation done. Check engine light has cleared. Okay, And it's exactly the same for the other systems like the airbag system which I'll show you now. This is the restraints control module. Read fault code. It's giving us a fault code, a description. Again, if you're not sure, pop the information into Google. That will give you the answer. Clear fault memory. Keep an eye on the airbag light. Airbag light is gone, erase operation done. Okay, now you'll notice on the right hand side of the dashboard we also have the ABS and traction control warning lights. So, what we'll do is we'll go in and diagnose those. Um, we need to find the ABS system, read fault code, and again it's giving us a unique fault code and the description of the fault. Now, they, we've set this one up a little bit differently because what we've done is we've unclipped the ABS sensor and we haven't connected it back together. So it's read the fault code correctly, like it should, and then what we need to do is go into, we're going to try and, well I'll show you what happens when you try and erase a fault that hasn't actually physically been fixed, okay? So we click into clear fault memory, we keep an eye on the warning lights when I do this, click OK, erase operation done, but you'll notice the warning lights are still there, okay? Essentially what's happening here is the tool is attempting to do its job, the tool is doing as much as it can by sending the information to the ECU to say, by the way, he thinks he's fixed this, please turn off the warning lights. The ECU, on the other hand, is saying, well, okay, I've done a quick check of the, the system. I'm not happy that the ABS system has been fixed correctly. There's still an open circuit, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the ABS lights on and I'm going to leave the fault code in the memory bank, which is still there. So that is essentially what will happen. It, sometimes, you know, if you have like an intermittent fault, you can get away with resetting the fault. Generally though, that probably wouldn't happen, in, it might happen in the ABS system, but generally it's more likely happen, to happen in the engine system, okay? Uh, so that's just an indication or an example of what will happen if you try and reset a fault code or a warning light when the fault hasn't physically been fixed. Had we clipped that connection back in on the ABS sensor and then try to clear the fault memory, those lights would have turned off without any issue at all. Okay, so that is the... Um, the iCars of CR Max, and it covers a lot of systems and a lot of different um, manufacturers and vehicles. I'll just do a quick swoop through here just to show you what it will do uh, manufacturer-wise. Now also, we've got the service menu here, so it does a lot of special and service functions as well. Normally things that can only really be carried out by the garage. 
It doesn't necessarily mean that it'll do all of these functions on all manufacturers. I would say if you are looking to do one of these service functions on your vehicle, um, send your VIN number to Diagnostic World and they will check to make sure that it is going to be suitable for your vehicle. Um, but yeah, that's it. So as I say, if you are interested, make sure you uh, use the links in the description because the fakes and the clones, they can damage your vehicle. You might be saving £100, but you're going to be you're going to be spending a lot more in the long run if it does damage your vehicle. You, you're saving £100 on what is you know potentially probably a £20,000, £25,000, £30,000 vehicle. It doesn't really make any sense. So go with the genuine tool. That's always my recommendation. Thanks for watching, and I hope this helps.